All right, Sean, just about eight days, 18 hours, and 50 minutes or so before the Tigers <laughs> take the field of Comerica for our home opening day. Not that I'm, I'm counting or yeah, anything. Yeah, you're counting. A lot of other people are, too. Take a live look at the stadium right now from our downtown Skycam. There's a whole lot of new things to see and eat when you go to your next game. Rod Maloney was the lucky one to get this assignment today. We're talking about a lot more than food, though. We had a lot of fun, a lot of food. Jeb and I, we're all anticipating what's going to happen. Take a look at this. You can get one of these, uh, which is a Tigers hockey stick, as part of the opening week package. This will be available on the 6th here. But I asked them for something that I could show you to show that they're interested in a new sort of uh, a new approach this year, and this is what they came up with. But <laughs> let's go and hear more about what they've done to this place over the winter. The Tigers are looking to add new and vibrant color to the season. A new TV announcer, Tigers gear of the soft and cuddly variety, and they spend millions on a much larger video scoreboard. Now 15,000 square feet and the second largest in all of baseball behind the Mets. And it's part of a push to make certain fans remain engaged for nine plus innings. Illich Sports and Entertainment CEO Ryan Gustafson explained. We want to make sure that fans aren't missing the game. So when they're standing in line, grabbing a beer, standing in line, grabbing a hot dog, uh, they're going to be able to just stay connected to the game in a new way, uh, which is just seeing a much up-leveled uh, television system throughout the ballpark. They've tried to improve on hot dogs and foil-wrapped burgers in the past, as Sarah Welch of Marrow, Detroit, a butcher shop during the day and restaurant at night, told us. We're trying to make it kind of a little a little spicier. We have a Andalusia sausage that's on the menu. Like I said, a burger that has bacon ground into it. So definitely ballpark favorites, but done a little bit differently. And they want everyone who wants to come and join in. And they're now providing a new sensory room for special needs Tigers fans. Sean Culkin is with Culture City. As a Culture City ambassador, as well as an autistic man myself, it means the world to see the community come around invisible disabilities to help pave a way for everybody to experience the game at their own pace. So even if we get snow on opening day, who cares, right? They got all of this great stuff. They're going to be spending a lot of time talking about the 1984 World Series one. What's that? 40 years ago? And oh, also wow. Jim Leyland going into the uh, <laughs> Hall of Fame. They'll be celebrating that as well out here this year. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, back to you. Lots, so much going on, Rod. They, they showed you a lot of food out there. What else is new this year? Well, uh, well, here, let me reach in my pocket and see. Uh, you stop me when I go too long oh, here, okay? okay? Green Dot Stables has slider bundles, pierogi grilled cheese sliders. Oh, yeah. Tari uh, taki Taqueria El Rey mm, uh, has yes. the charcoal grilled chicken wings, street corn nachos, smash burger is going to be here, oh, yeah. uh, hot honey chicken tenders. How go. about uh, the five-piece souvenir chicken tender bucket? What do you think? You notice we Sound didn't good? stop. We didn't stop <laughs> exactly. you there. We would enjoy. That's just going. okay. Then I'll, I'll keep going. Here. Oh, he's got more. <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. It's gonna be fun. Uh, yeah. A big fan of marrow, so I'm all behind that partnership too. Yeah. So a lot of good things coming here. Uh, Tigers actually open tomorrow in Chicago. Uh -huh. It's like about I don't know, 50 degrees. Yeah. So a little chilly, but mm -hmm. at least dry, I think.